I'm sure everyone knows that at least here in the UK, all you need to do to get free TV is to just put an antenna and plug in your TV. Things have been like this for many years and most houses in my area have such antennas. What less people probably know is that for a short period of time in the 2000s, you could get a card for your PC to tune into this free TV and even record shows. This idea didn't seem that popular though, so just a few years later such TV cards seem to have just disappeared into thin air. I also forgot about these cards until recently when I watched a video from Technotim about manual home setup. This inspired me, so I immediately scrolled down and clicked the link, only to see that it was 150 bucks. And while it, I was looking at cheaper options, I found some TV cards for five to ten pounds. Yeah. So here are the cards we're testing. The first one is a black gold BGT thirty six twenty. The next one is a Win TV HVR one 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 zero. And the next one is a Win TV something, which is the oldest out of the bunch. And now we're going to need a computer to test all these. So let's go get one. Now we've got a computer, so let's plug in the first one, the black gold card. Once you're on your computer, you're going to want to download your software of choice for your TV tuner. I'm running Citrobo PVR4. So it may come up that there are no tuners detected. For that, you're just going to want to install some drivers. I've linked the one for the black gold card in the description. Then you're going to want to go to your files and unzip them so that it's just a folder that you can open like this. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go to device manager. You should see one with a little warning symbol. You want to right click that and click update driver. Click browse my computer for drivers manually. Click browse. Downloads and the folder that you unzipped earlier. I'm going to click next and the drivers should just be installing and if this pops up just click on install and make sure this checkbox is filled in. Once it's done installing your software should detect the device and you can close out of device manager. Now click on over the air Click your region and wait for the scan. Now that it's done scanning, we can see a lot of channels. I'm just going to click BBC News for reference. As you can see, we can now watch BBC News. The next card we're testing is the WinTV HVR1110. We are again going to need to install new drivers, so I will do that now and show you right here. So what I'm going to type is WinTV HVR1110 drivers. Now you're going to want to click on this first one here can't find it I will provide a link in the description now I just want to click download once it's installed open it and give it admin permissions then select your language and hit next ignore this and hit continue then click on next Make sure this box that says don't update drivers is not checked. Wait for it to install the drivers. Make sure this box is checked. Always trust software and click on install. Once it goes to this screen, activation required, that means the drivers are done downloading and you no longer need this, you can just close out of it, click exit setup. 
To make sure your drivers have installed properly, you're just going to right click the Windows button, hit Device Manager, then there shouldn't be any warning symbols here. So then you can just close and reopen your software. Now just a quick note here, if you're swapping out TV cards like we are, you may need to reinstall the software before you start using it again and do another setup. We didn't find any channels because this TV card is quite a bit weaker and our antenna is more useful in the bin than for anything else. So let's move on to the next one. We are going to show you next PVR which is a way of accessing and using your TV card over the web. You can install next PVR on Windows, Linux, Docker etc. So we are just going to show you our install on Windows. So here we are on the next PVR web menu. Now to actually watch TV we're gonna have to set up all your channels first. So to do that you're just gonna want to go to settings, click on devices, and make sure the one that says hashtag zero is all the way at the top using these little arrows. And what I'm using is DVBT here. So I'm just going to click on here. Now I'm going to click on scan channels. And now I can select the country I'm in. And I'm in the United Kingdom. So I'm going to search for TV channels in the UK. United Kingdom, all regions. Now I'm just going to click scan channels. So now that we're done scanning for channels, we can see a huge list of channels here. And you can just select which ones you want and which ones you don't want. I'm just going to keep all of them selected and hit save. Now it's going to say update EPG. Your channel lineup has changed. Would you like to update? I will click update EPG. As you can see the EPG update is done so now we can close this, go back to the devices tab, click on the hashtag one for me DVBT, copy existing channel setup, hit yes. Now once that's copied over your setup is finished and we can watch some channels. So I'm just gonna watch. As you can see, I've selected a channel and trained I'm now it over. Live TV. Yeah. And I can skip forward to other sections, and the quality is all right. But I mean, you can't expect much since it's you know free TV. And uh, live in this this street TV. of. I've selected the BBC Two channel. Lovely garden. The TV is set up. So, yeah the end of this thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one